Um, Molly has met, um, met a theatre impresario who invites her to come and meet him in his theatre. She has no idea what, th what this is for, but she goes. I'm a self-made man, Miss Murphy, Tommy Burke said, turning to me. We were sitting side by side in the darkness of an empty theatre. On the dimly lit stage, actors were reading through lines, but here at the back of the stalls, we were in a private world, and I was conscious of the intimacy of his big shoulder touching mine, of his warm, slightly beery breath on my cheek. I've done very well for a boy who came to America with nothing, and who was close to starving several times in his childhood. He looked at me, and I nodded approval. We came over during the famine, you know, he went on, driven out of our homes like so many families. The landowner's thugs actually knocked down the cottage as my parents struggled to save our few possessions. I was only about four years old at the time, but I can still remember it clearly. They broke my mother's one good pudding basin, and she would have killed them if my father hadn't held her back. Then we had the chance to come to America on a famine ship. You've heard about the famine ships, haven't you? Back and forth across the Atlantic, crammed full of poor wretched souls like ourselves. He was still looking at me as if he wanted me to say something, but I couldn't think what to say. It was a terrible time, I said at last. My own family almost died out in the famine. What part of Ireland are you from, my dear? County Mayo. Ah, the Wild West. It's beautiful there. Lakes, meadows, rugged seacoast. That it is, I said. Beautiful and remote. You feel like you're at the end of the earth. I couldn't wait to escape from it myself. We came from the south ourselves near Cork. I don't remember anything of it, but I do remember that ship. No steam in those days, you know, 12 days under sail, and most of us sicker than dogs, packed in like sardines we were. People were already weak from the famine, you know. They were dying like flies all around us. Why are you telling me this, Mr. Burke, I asked. I'm coming to that. He put a beefy hand over mine, making me wonder for a moment whether he'd invited me with base of motives. I'd certainly heard about old men like him preying on young women, but then he cleared his throat. <clears throat> like I said... I started with nothing, and I've done pretty well for myself, wouldn't you say? Only problem is, I've, I'm not getting any younger, and I've nobody to leave it to. No children, I asked. No children, he said sadly. I was married once, but she couldn't take my sort of life. You're either married to a woman or to the theatre. You can't have both. I chose the theatre. And now I've no, it's only me. My brother and sister are both gone, my parents too. I've one nephew, and I've done enough for him already. Put him through Harvard, paid off his debts. No, I'm averse to leaving my fortune to him, Miss Murphy. And this is where you come in. Now, for one wild moment, I wondered if he was hinting that he'd like to adopt me and make, him, make me his heir. I always did have wild, impro improbable fantasies, as my mother would tell you. I looked up at him. I want you to try and find my sister, he said. Your sister? I thought you said she was already dead. He nodded. That was my older sister, Bridget, I was talking about, my nephew's mother. You had more than one sister then. That's the strange thing, Miss Murphy. He stared out into the darkness. Someone on stage was crying. I couldn't tell if it was part of the play or if they were genuinely upset. It sounded real enough. My ma died a few months ago, he said. God, I worship that woman. What a tower of strength she was. I was with her a lot during the final weeks. She wasted away to a skeleton, you know. Like a stick figure she was, pitiful to see. And in the last weeks, when they started giving her morphine for the pain, she started rambling. One day she said she hoped God would forgive her for what she'd done, leaving the baby behind. I was shocked, I can tell you. I didn't know if it was fantasy or reality. They say morphine gives you dreams and delusions. So I prodded her about it. She wasn't quite lucid anymore, but from what I could gather, I had a baby sister called Mary Ann. We were about to sail for America, and she fell sick with a bad fever and was not expected to live. My parents didn't want to give up the chance for the rest of us to sail to a new life. Who knows if they'd have secured passage on another ship? And God knew enough babies died in Ireland all the time, so they left her behind. Holy Mother of God, abandon her, you mean? I asked, horrified. Just left her to die? No, it wasn't like that. I gathered they left her with the local parish priest who'd promised to find someone to take care of her but apparently it had been pe preying on my mother's mind all these years, although she never said a word about it to me. And you think your sister might still be alive, I asked. Do you have any reason to believe this? None at all. 
It's just that I won't rest until I know, one way or the other. I'm a busy man, Miss Murphy. As you can see, I've a new play opening at the casino in two months. I'm also planning a grand production of Babes in the Wood. I'm going to make me a fortune, so I'm tied to New York myself. That's why I'm hiring you. I want you to go over to Ireland and see if you can trace my little sister. To Ireland? I can't tell you what mixed emotions coursed through me at that word. A chance to go home again. There have been times during this tumultuous summer when, the, when I had consu been consumed with homesickness. But no sooner had I thought about going home than I remembered the reason I'd had to flee in the first place. The man I thought I'd killed was still alive, it was true, but he was vindictive and would delight in finding me delivered to his doorstep, like a lamb to the slaughter. That's right, Tommy Burke said to Ireland. Wouldn't it be simpler to place an advertisement in the Irish Times and see what comes of it? What, and have every confident strickster in Ireland coming out of the woodwork for a handout? You'd pay my expenses, I asked, weakening. All your expenses and a hundred dollar retainer and a healthy bonus if you actually find her alive. What do you say, Miss Murphy? Will you take the case? I had no other assignments on the books. Funds were dwindling fast and New York was not the happiest of places for me at the moment. I nodded and held out my hand. Very well, Mr. Burke.